Today I want to talk about the difference between voltage and current because believe me, I've heard too many people tell me that there's 30,000 volts of electricity flowing through your body and that statement is completely wrong and makes no sense. So today we're going to talk about why. Now, there are three main components to every circuit that you could possibly write down. Here is the simplest circuit you can have. You have a voltage source. This could be a battery or a generator providing electricity. You have some resistance, which is a load. This could represent a light bulb or a motor. It could be more complicated than this, but this is the simplest load you could have. You can think of it being a toaster, for instance. And then through the wire going all the way around in the circuit is the current, which is called I. So you have the voltage and you have the current and the current is electrically flowing charges through the load which in this case is a resistor which you can think of for this example like a light bulb. So you see it doesn't make sense to say there's 30,000 volts of electricity flowing through something because voltage doesn't flow. In this example of that simple circuit, the voltage is the potential difference push. It is the pressure, the electrical pressure that pushes the electric current. Now the electric current are the flowing electrons which actually move around the surface, around the circuit, and through the wire, and those are the electrons in the outer shell of the copper wire that can move freely. So in the case of lightning like this, for instance, the electrical charges, which are electrons, are physically moving. So when we talk about electric current, we're talking about like the water that will be flowing through the water hose. It's the actual substance that's actually flowing, doing the work, pushing the motor or whatever it is in your load. But the voltage isn't actually flowing anywhere. The voltage is providing the electrical pressure, which is pushing those charges around the circuit. This is all summed up in the famous Ohm's law. V equals I R, or you could rearrange it as I equals V over R. What this is basically saying is that the electric current flowing through a circuit is equal to the voltage, which is the push over here on, on this side here, um, divided by the resistance. So if you have more of a push, more voltage, then with the same resistance, with this number is bigger, you will get a larger electric current. And if you have a smaller voltage, uh, meaning a smaller numerator, you will have a smaller electric current. It's also affected by the resistance. Of course, that's what's impeding the electron flow, but this Ohm's law governs the relationship between how many charges per second are flowing and the electrical push, which is provided by the voltage. And by the way, where does the voltage come from? Well, in a battery, it comes from the chemistry. The physical pushing of the electrons comes from the chemical reaction inside the battery. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.